In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that, relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the waters of the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed the fifth day. Then God said, let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image he created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food, and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it, he rested from all the work he had done in creation. Such is the story of the heavens and the earth at their creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites. As it is written, The people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but you call cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is korban, meaning dedicated to God, you allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus blamed his critics for ignoring God's commandments while demanding adherence to human decrees. Jesus recognized that the religious traditions of his time did not always correspond to God's will as revealed in the scriptures and in a much fuller way now by Jesus himself. The church must always be careful that its traditions conform to God's word to us, especially as spoken by Jesus. Every so often the church needs to renew itself with the help of the Holy Spirit to purify its traditions so that they correspond more closely to the true spirit of the gospel. We can understand the Second Vatican Council as a significant attempt to do that. In our personal lives too, we can get into ways of doing things that are not in keeping with the core of God's message to us in and through the scriptures. Our personal tradition, whether it is our religious tradition or our tradition in the broader sense, is always in need of examination in light of the gospel. We need to keep hearing the word of God afresh and rely on the Holy Spirit to help us to do so. With trust in God, we turn to him with these our prayers, that the church throughout the world may continually offer a pure sacrifice of praise, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the people of the world may understand and appreciate God's expectations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that family life may be strengthened and enriched by true love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, for those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, in a special way today, we remember Alexander Henny Eskandar, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals and those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that as you listen to our prayers and supplications, that you will answer them according to your will. We offer them as always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Mm. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that, we may become, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.